I'm Dr. Martha Lucas here with my good friend and co-worker Rebecca Ziegler. We work with people to release, unwind the energetic patterns of trauma. And we were together talking about that some of my patients have a lot of guilt because they had to close their bar, for example. And the two of us just said, oh my gosh, we work with that all the time. We need to give people some online support to help through these traumatic times. So some of you were obviously sending this to each of our groups that we already know. So some of you already know me and don't know Rebecca. Some already know Rebecca and not me. So we're just gonna this first time give a little intro of each of us. So my name is Dr. Martha Lucas. I am a practitioner of Chinese medicine in Denver, Colorado. Um, I used to, I was a research scientist when I first started out in medicine and modern medicine and I've been doing Chinese medicine now for 20 plus years and love it. It's even now during these trying times, it's very supportive for keeping your immune system strong and uh, for anxiety and stuff. So uh, that's who I am. And I'm Rebecca Ziegler. I've been a yoga practitioner and a student of yoga since 1973. And I, I have been teaching yoga since 1981, but I also have studied trauma touch. I'm a cranial sacral therapist, and I work with people with, with yoga, with uh, tra uh, trauma-sensitive yoga. So, um, that's my background. I've been doing it for quite some time. And I've found that it's so important, especially during this time, that we find a place within our own selves that both Dr. Martha and I have also been feeling what everyone else mm -hmm. is feeling. We aren't looking at all of you and going, oh, you're so traumatized. We are feeling that within our own selves. So what we will be sharing is the hence the practices that we use to find that balance within ourselves. Does it stay for hours and hours? Well, it's a practice. And it's always going back to the practice. And that's what we want to share with each of you. Yes, we want to share. We're going to make a number of these little videos and we're going to share different techniques. Yes. So it'll be one because we don't want to overwhelm anyone. We're already a little bit overwhelmed. So we're going to offer one technique, one practice that you can do for several days and then we'll post another one that you can do. So by the end of our posts, you will have a little cache that you can use whenever. You can use whenever you're a little stressed or have some issues in your life while we are going through this period where maybe you can't get in to see your practitioner or your yoga class or your meditation class. Yes. So Rebecca is going to tell you about the technique for the practice for today. Yes. Well, I love to pray. I love to be in my um, meditation room and I love to pray. But sometimes I get overwhelmed with everyone I want to pray for. So I found a technique that works for me and hopefully you will each benefit from it also. So you write down the name of people you want to pray for. And it doesn't have to be for the entire family. You can say, I'll use Martha, Dr. Martha. I'll put down Dr. Martha's name and by putting down her name, then everyone in her family and all of her friends also have that prayer energy moving out towards them. So you write down whomever that you, on the piece of paper. And you can be in seated posture. You can be in your bed at night. You can do whatever you choose with it. But you place that paper on your heart. And I have no words to give you. It's not about my words. It's about the love in your own hearts and how much you care with compassion for each of the people that you have written on this piece of paper. It's, I find it brings me peace because number one, I'm not just thinking about myself, but just that little bit of touch brings it out to each and every person. And 
And I totally love that. I was telling one of my daughters about it this morning and it brought tears to my eyes because how wonderful is it to number one, get in touch with your own heart and you are literally praying and sending heart energy to everyone on that list. And also, I love Rebecca's idea of you don't have to write everybody's name down because I know myself, that can create anxiety. Like, oh my God, oh my God, talk about guilt. Who did I forget? Who did I forget? So that's our practice for today that we would love for you to practice for now, forever. And as I said, we are going to get back to you with other practices. In the meantime, do know that each of us are available online. We both do online support for people all over the world. So feel free to share this video with anyone. Um, my contact information to set up a time for such work would be Dr. M. Lucas at acupuncturewoman.com. So D-R-M-L-U-C-A-S at acupuncturewoman.com. And my contact information via the email, Rebecca, R-E-B-E-C-A-H-Z at Comcast.net. So please take good care of yourself. Follow all the CDC recommendations about hand washing and we will see you again. We will. And to close, left hand on your heart, right hand on top of the left. Feel your most beautiful hearts beating. And please repeat after me, with great respect and love. With great respect and love. I honor my heart. I honor my heart. My inner teacher. My inner teacher. And from this place, you honor your own heart. And in honoring your own heart, you give that love out to others. All right. Take care of yourselves.